Before the rise of Barista and Cafe Coffee Day, there was just one big brand offering the nation its caffeine fix. The Indian Coffee House. Set up in Bangalore in the late 1950s, the cooperative quickly spread across the country. Albert Hall and Cole Cutter's College Street is perhaps one of its most famous branches. Situated in the city's academic heartland, the coffee shop soon became a favourite of students and university staff, serving as a hotbed for radical discussions in the 1960s. But regulars will tell you to truly know the place, you must first understand the concept of Adda, the Bengali art of wide-ranging conversation. That Adda may be a light-hearted exchange of views, maybe very light-hearted, maybe very serious. Yeah? In serious discussions we have those philosophic economic, sociological problems, even pure scandals. These are also the juicy topics of Adda. Popular with young and old alike, Albert Hall often fills to capacity, drawing in the punters with a range of low-cost drinks and snacks. A cup of coffee here costs 12 rupees. That's just over 30 cents. Now, if you visit one of the more Western-style coffee shops on the other side of town, you can expect to pay over a dollar for your caffeine fix. So how's the Indian coffee house keeping up with the competition? Dipanka Desgupta is one of the coffee house's elected board members. He says the company's socialist values guide the pricing strategy. We only charge 12 rupees for a single cup of coffee in this market, in high market prices, because we are not much interested to, uh, get, to get to earn profit more and more, because it is a cooperative society. Cooperative society always see the benefit of the workers, always, beside that, always see the benefit of the consumers. And that approach certainly appeals to customers. Talking to the regulars, they describe the venue as a home from home, far from the exclusivity of the modern coffee shop. But it's a bit of alienation for me. Then. I not used to see many people like this, sitting down, chatting, having a talk, looking at you, peeking, peeping toms. No, there is no one there. Everybody is there and everybody is having their own kind of talk, own world and thinking of only themselves. What to think more, man? There are so many people around us. We must think of at least one more than me. But despite its popularity, the coffee house is failing to balance its books. In 1996, a run-in with the landlord led to the property being bought out by the government. But even with a state subsidy, the branch continues to struggle. Last year, we had a loss of nearly $19,000 and a total turnover from the branch was about $450,000. Sales at the head office was nearly $210,000, so to come out from the loss, we are trying to expand our business by creating more franchisees with the help of the brand of the coffee house. So for a bright future, the company plans to trade on its past. It will hope that by using franchises to replicate its rich blend of service and atmosphere, it can long remain a flavour of Kolkata's coffee connoisseurs.